yo, yo, what's good? This week we fiendin' for meaning with Grendel by John Gardner. It's been nearly 12 years since a nappy looking beast named Grendel first started beefing with King Rothgar and his peeps. After wrecking that mead hall like he always do, he starts thinking back about when he was a little rug rat. Tired of hearing his mama say dual dual all the time, this lonely ass thug decided to see what's good in the upper world. After getting stuck in a tree, Grendel tried to conversate with some humans rolling by, but they don't understand a damn word he say. So Grendel's mama gotta step up, get crunk on them humans, and save his ass. Later, G. Diddy watch a blind fool called The Shaper lay down some next level rhymes talking up the Danes of old like they are righteous. Even though he know The Shaper spitting lies, he wanna believe it's the truth. Grendel runs up on that mead hall begging for peace and hugs, but all them Danes see is a big fugly monster screaming nonsense. So they whip out their chrome and chase him away. One day, Grendel finds himself chilling with a dragon sitting on a fat stack of bling. The dragons say the world's a meaningless mechanical void and human beings, especially the Shaper, just trying to fill that void with pretty bullshit. Since we all gonna die, the only thing worth doing is stacking chains like old folks and planting our fat asses on it. Later, 14 geeks led by Bell will drop in on the land of the Danes. When Grendel peeps game at Wolfie, it seems like his words don't fit his mouth. The f There's something shady about this thug here. That night, Grendel decides it's time to wreck shop. So he busts into that mead hall and starts banging with Beowulf. Wolfie smacks him up, throws his dome against the wall, and say, you my bitch now, sing wall, sucker, and straight rips his arm off like a beast. Grendel stumbles outside and right before he dies, he say, poor Grendel had an accident. So may you all. Now if you ain't already in the know, Grendel's the same gnarly beastie from the epic poem Beowulf. Except in Gardner's work, we hearing the story from Grendel's perspective. And he won wicked smart G, man. Grindeezy's so slick that none of the animals in his hood can keep up. Even his own mama don't understand him. And since them punk ass humans ain't nothing but a bunch of violent haters, Grendel feels like he's all alone. Matter of fact, when Grendel gets stuck in that tree, he decides there ain't nothing in this world except him. I understood that the world was nothing. A mechanical chaos of casual, brute enmity on which we stupidly impose our hopes and fears. I understood that, finally and absolutely, I alone exist. I create the whole universe, blink by blink. As little Grendel grows up, he meets some G'd up hustlers who make him marinate on all kinds of philosophies. The shape are always busting sick flows about Danish myth that gives them dopey ass Danes a sense of meaning to their lives. He gives them hope by telling them that life is straight up righteous. Whereas that hood rich dragon don't play that game, he say all those values ain't nothing but lies told to keep stupid fools happy. That's where the shaper saves them, provides an illusion of reality. It keeps them going for what that's worth. How's a brother gonna argue with a dragon? After talking with that scaly scrub, Grendel takes a big old hit of that nihilistic blunt and finally has a mission in life. If he can't be accepted as man's homie, they might as well be the mindless thug they see him as. Not only did Grendel's mind get f***ed by a literal dragon, but a symbolic one too. When Grendel first peeps game at Beowulf, he knows something's up. Later he thinks he sees fire in his eyes and wings popping out of his shoulders. And like any good dragon, Beowulf don't just wreck Grendel's arm, he also wrecks his philosophy. As you see it, it is. While the seeing lasts, dark nightmare history, time is coffin. But where the water was rigid, there will be fish, and men will survive on their flesh till spring. Though you murder the world, turn plains to stone, transmogrify life into I and it, strong searching roots will crack your cave, and rain will cleanse it. The world will burn green, sperm build again, my promise. Beowulf basically saying, look son, whether you sneer at life like that dragon or try to dream up a better world and hustle to make it a reality all shaper style, it don't mean a damn thing. There's a hell of a lot more going on here than just you. So spit whatever verses you want. Life goes on, playboy. And nothing goes on as fine as Thug Notes gear. Sing swag, B, and see you next week. <laughs>